Hello and welcome again for another video here on Blogger Tools. Today I want to show you how bloggers like you and me can use Notion. I uh, heard about the app first or the program first as I worked on a web development team and we use it there and um, then I tried for myself. So I have one really busy uh, full account here for my tech uh, German tech blog and now I set up a new uh, free workspace for my um, blogging tools uh, project and um, I'm a bit torn between Notion and Coda because um, the, the Coda f offers things like Zapier integration so you can like pull in data from your other tools and charts and stuff as a programmer you can imagine i'm a real like data nerd and i love to um create myself some analytics dashboards about like on which day more, uh, more people subscribe to my newsletter and stuff like that so that isn't yet um, possible with notion but it has some other advantages over things like coda dropbox paper that i want to show you today and i also want to show you an example setup that i um just created for the blogger tools project as you can see here this is my um, home uh, page where um, I split it up in four main area um, one is content where I have my editorial calendar and uh, my product review process and um, I copied that so to say almost from my uh, tech uh, blog because there I have lots of product reviews going on but um, I think on this a project I will also do like soft software reviews so um, the same applies without the, the steps of uh, um, on on the way to me or me sending it back to the manufacturer because uh, soft, software doesn't have to be sent by mail then we have um, here the to do area with tasks and goals um, I have the collaboration uh, tools where I keep um, keep my um, contacts, like with other bloggers or with companies uh, who want to work with me, and the projects that we do together, and then the blogger tools, um, basic information with a concept like who is blogger tools for, who's my target audience, what's the the, the concept, the mission behind it all, and um, also a list of. Um, um, branding files like logos and banners and stuff uh, so I can keep them all together and don't have to look them up every time and then here we have um, a, a small view of um, uh, upcoming tasks that is from here but just uh, embedded here so of course when I check um, the page in, in the morning or something I know uh, exactly what to do and can check off the stuff I've already done. So let's go through all the um, different uh, sections I just uh, showed you. So that's uh, the editorial calendar. Um, my setup is first the type. So I both have a website for this channel where I sometimes just write um, articles but most of the times it's a video that will also be embedded in its own article on the website with um with the video description as as the text and um so that you can either make a video or um article but i can also still add some more uh, types later like if i do a podcast or something i can also add podcast as a or audio as a content type um then the topic like so i have the main topics like wordpress plugins marketing monetization so tools that help you make money blogging um all that kind of stuff so i can uh, see how much i'm talking about each um subcategory of my uh, of my topic and then uh, the stage and then the publish uh, date so when it should be published and the cool thing about notion is that you can have multiple views so this is my workflow so i know uh, how many uh, content pieces are in each step of my content workflow 
and then we have the calendar of course because it's an it says electoral calendar so uh, here you see the published dates are automatically added to um, a calendar so you can check easily if um, your are sticking with your schedule that you are set up and what I really like about Notion um, what is like it has a it has a feature that um that doesn't exist in other like tools like um uh, Coda or, or like uh, I think not even in the uh, some other um database tools um is that you can add text to um the to uh, any content piece so um other uh, uh, tools that offer like like kind of flexible tables only allow you to um, edit or add this table data but don't uh, allow you to add um, like free text and like um, outlines and stuff that you can use to write scripts or, or overviews or outlines about your content so um, you can just um, open this in a new um, page and now it's like a normal Notion page and you can start adding um, let's see uh, yeah here, here bullet list I wanted to do an outline let's say um, how to create a content calendar in Notion how to set up a to-do list and so on dot 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 so you can like also like add, add photos or if if you um want to have like a table about upcoming events and conferences you go to for your blog then you can even like add google maps and stuff inside that event um uh, page so uh, that's something that not many other tools have like you can have a page inside a page inside a page and so really add all the information and in the structure you want um so that is the editorial calendar then let's go down to the product reviews let's say you have um an amazing new gadget And let's say down here you can also add notes about uh, uh, what it is and um, you can also um, something I think I forgot I can also show you um, let's add a property and say contact and um, Let's make a relation that way you can connect it, um, tables with each other so and now you can also add in your review process who in your contact database has given you that um, review copy let's go to that one right, now you see uh, when you go to um, one of your reviews who has um, given you, uh, you one so let's say this amazing gadget you first requested it and then um, they have sent it to you so you are now currently reviewing it and then um, when you set, uh, re have written the review then you can put it into completed and this way you would also if, if it's like physical products you can say on the way to me or I'm uh, mailing it back right now and stuff like that so you can uh, add any more stage that you want um, then let's go to tasks you can um, uh, this is more like th this I used uh, the new list feature where it isn't like a table but rather more like a like a to-do list that you would know from other like to-do list applications where you can add tags um, or like projects if you can also make like, like you saw earlier a project table and then use the relations or relationships I show you showed you earlier um, you can also then here add a project name um, so you can um, 
see for every project how many tasks you still have open and of course you can check them off um, and I also set the filter that um, it only shows uh, tasks that are still open of course otherwise it would be really uh, crowded with tasks that are no longer relevant so if um, if I click this then um, yeah it should be gone um, what I just saw now is that you can't click it in here um, which is a bit of a uh, which is makes it a, a one click more. Um, so, uh, I think that's only in that list. I think in normal tables you can uh, check uh, things off. So here I have my uh, goals. So the, the, this is also in the to do uh, area because um, yeah, goals are something you want to do, you want to achieve too. Um, th so this is the fourth video, but that I'm creating right now for the channel. But uh, just. Uh, Imagine uh, this is the fifth one, so I can check it off. Yeah, here in, in table views, you can check things off, but uh, somehow not in list views. Um, and now you can filter things. Say, uh, let's create a new filter. Let's say, um, do only show um, items that have um, completed is. Um, not checked off. So some other um, systems they have you do with true and false and stuff that maybe um, non-programmers non don't really understand but here it's nice and visual with uh, checked or not checked. So only show um, items that are not checked um, except if you want to see all the goals you already achieved to make you feel more confident before an important meeting or event or something. Okay, let's uh, go into the contacts area. Here we have the name. Uh, I don't have any contacts yet uh, for my, I think, 10 days old uh, project. So, um, but of course, in my main blog, I have many like PR co companies uh, who sent me pre press materials and companies I worked with who advertised on my blog and stuff so that's a really huge uh, one but here we have just some example data and you can also add like a type um, for example uh, content creator is like a fellow blogger or a fellow youtuber who could maybe do a collaboration with you someday uh, so you can add them to your list here um, then um, things like um, potential client like a company who maybe is interested in sponsor sponsoring one of your blog posts and um, of course if uh, P, uh, like PR co uh, contacts or um, people who organize some conferences that you're speaking at or something so you can add even more um, contact types so you know um, in which way you are connected to that person then you can add the email address um, in some other um, tools I use, they, uh, have, there isn't like an email field, but you have to just use the uh, text form, um, like a, a te normal text uh, type of uh, column for that. But here you can then automatically click on the um, email uh, addresses, so that makes it easier for you to automatically, like qu quickly, get into contact with people. Let's say. Hello, at example com. <clears throat> I thought you could click on them. Oh well. Um. Oh yeah, that's that's uh, how you click on them. They they don't turn into a link, but you can here just then click on the send email button, and um. Then you can you already see here it's automatically added our relationship here. So even now here in the contact uh, table you can already see uh, which um, review copies have been sent by that contact to you. So um, it's like really interactive if you add a relationship to this table somewhere else, then the relationship will also uh, appear here. So you have a good overview um, in which way you already um, work together. And the same here is with uh, projects, the uh, area that we come to next. So projects are the things you do t together with your 
um, with your contacts, so sponsorships or collaborations. Here, this is the pipe, the pipeline view. Um, so the stage is like uh, first contact, negotiating, pre preparation, uh, doing the actual project, and then completing the, it. But we also have um, the default view. I have still have to rename that to like table view or something. Um, and here you can see uh, the title of the project you're doing with your contact, uh, the type like a sponsorship or uh, contact collaboration like uh, content co collaboration like you showing up in someone else's blog post or doing a, a video or doing a guest posting or something and um, like cross promotion where you shout out each other on twitter or stuff like that and then here you see again the relationship you can uh, now define which contact uh, you are doing this with and uh, also at the stage which will then impact on which card it will show up in your t uh, pipeline view. And then let's go to the concept. So um, as you can see in Notion, you not just uh, have to uh, use tables and calendars and stuff, but you can just use it for notes, for, for text. Um, then the last area is here on um, here the logo, the YouTube banner, um, the freebie give uh, freebie giveaway for the newsletter subscribers uh, cover. They're really tiny here, but if, if you click on them, um, they they uh, show, but not not really in one to one, like how they normally look, but still quite small. But at least you know what um, you're looking at. And you can also like add tags. Um, like there, are, there's a difference between uh, like things like type, where you can uh, set it to be a one selection, like a selection of one thing, like a drop down, or you can have it like um, tags, where you can add as, as many uh, items, as many categories as you want. And tasks, um, it shows here as, as the as a, uh, another list, but it's actually the uh, task embed here on um, b below the um, other contents of the home page. So that's why it's showing up uh, there again, even though it should only show up here. It's only meant to show up here in the, under the um, table of contents, so to say. So that's my um, notion set up for uh, the new channel and uh, uh, website all about uh, blogging, to blogging tools and uh, yeah I hope it helped you, it, I hope it gave you some inspiration about what you can do with Notion as a blogger. Thank you for watching and see you soon.